batteries are just like rolling around. Every time you open it up, you're like, oh, it's a D battery that rolled at me. Oh, it's a C battery that rolled at me. Well, look at this. Look at the after. How about a storage container direct specifically for batteries and then also a battery tester? Eureka, great idea. And you can actually hang it. And it's under $17. $16.96. It's four easy payments of $4.24. It's V35306. That's your item number. We've sold over 35,000 of them. And it's funny because um, every time we present this, everyone's like, oh my gosh, that's the coolest thing. What is that? <laughs> it's so simple. Because if you look in your battery drawer right now, I bet dollars to donuts you have no idea which, which batteries work. None. Or what and batteries you even have. <laughs> Exactly. This is Diana Irvine. She brings us great home solutions and I um, and she has been doing so for many years. Yes. And um, she's a dear friend. But I'm going to say that one more time. I bet you have no idea if the batteries in your drawer A work and B what batteries you have for mm -hmm. sure because somebody's going to get a toy and you go in there and you dig and you go I need three AAA batteries and you look and you're like I got my hands on two. Yeah. Let me go. Let me go raid state. Exactly. Yeah. I need to go steal from the remote. <laughs> oh my I God. Totally we done that. Too. <laughs> We're of the I'm same confessing. brain. <laughs> we do the same thing. Yes. So this is what you're getting. Will you show us? Yes, I, I, I guess love we're going this. to yours. This <laughs> is the best way to store, organize, and protect the batteries in your household. It's the ultimate battery organizer. And as silly as it may sound, it's probably one of the best gifts in my house that we've had. My husband loves it. My eight-year-old loves it. All my kids know where to go, where the battery stash is. This holds 93 batteries, wow. 45 AA, 25 AAA, four nine volt, eight C's, six D's, and five the flat buttons. And it has the battery tester all in one place. You can either store it flat in a drawer. Mm -hmm. We actually have ours mounted on the door of our little office closet. And it has a hinge top, which is great. Nice. Easy to access. And one of the things, as you said, opening up a drawer and having a bunch of batteries and you don't know which ones that work. How Not a clue. Now Not a clue. You can take an inventory at a moment's notice and realize, oh, we're running out of AAA or oh, we need the double A's or oh, I need D batteries. If you have Luminara candles, if you have mm -hmm. remote controls, if you have toys in your house, flashlights, beauty devices, how about your mouse for your computer? How many how times has your mouse died and then you're like, uh-oh, I need triple A or double A. Well, this is where you go to get them. And this, it's just marvelous. It's just simple. It's easy. We even give you this, the hardware to mount it if you wish. And just, I, it's like a better mouse trap if you ask me. It's a Great idea. Yes. It's four easy payments of $4.24. And just to be clear, you're receiving the storage case with the battery tester. The batteries don't come with. So it would be awesome. Like, how about a tremendous gift? Again, oh, yes. Since you said it stores 93 batteries, that's an expensive investment. But I promise you the person who receives all the batteries uh, would totally love you. The other thing is that you could just do a starter. You could go, here's a set of AAAs yes. and here's a, you know, My here's one set of Ds or a couple of nine volts. You don't have to fill it, com fill it completely and, and give it empty. I mean, frankly, buy one for yourself so that you can organize your own I'm bag actually on drawer. Getting one, and then a get one, one for, exactly yes. for someone else mm -hmm. as a gift. I will tell you, every Christmas morning, my brother, he must buy nine gajillion batteries because what do, what happens? What do kids get on Christmas morning? They always get the electronics toys. and the toys. Exactly. And yeah, absolutely. Toys and games and little robots and flying cars and yep. flying, you know, airplanes. And what do they all need? Batteries. Absolutely. And the worst thing you could possibly <laughs> Show us ever what you're do. Doing. I'm sorry. So this I was is talking the, no, that's okay. That. This is the battery tester. So I was just grabbing one of these batteries. What do you do? And all you do is, and actually, each type of battery it tells you where to put it in. If you're doing a nine volt, you're going to do it on the end. You're just going to slide it in here, make contact with all the metal parts here, oh, and then you'll cool. see green means good. See, green means good. Yellow means eh, we're kind of losing power, and red means replace. So. We have Mr. Beam's lights at our house. Do you want to know how I test my batteries? How do you do it? You lick, lick them? You lick don't them. lick them. Do. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that too, but on. this is Didn't better. You grow up like this, true. Totally. <laughs> that was this how we works. grew up. We grew up. How do you know if a battery works? <laughs> lick it. Who gave us that advice? My mommy. Uh -huh. I'll tell you. Everybody was like, well, well, you can find out if a battery works. So I have a new thing. It. Then this is the battery organizer of the 21st century. So instead of having to lick your batteries, you can actually use the battery <laughs> tester. But my mom said to me today, what? That you know what? If you have a newlywed couple, yeah. or a couple going to their first home, or anyone going to the first home, how about giving them this? Even though it comes without the batteries, I love the idea of filling it up, yeah. getting them prepared. 
Wind Absolutely. is coming. Suddenly they have they need a flashlight mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they need batteries. The other thing is we have Mr. Beam's uh, lights are all around our house. Yes. And Howard, my husband, was saying the other day how much he loves this because there have been many times where the lights weren't working. So he goes out, instead of chucking out all the batteries, he tests them all. And he said nine out of ten times, it's one of them that's gone bad. Yes. So I'm replacing one, and I'm not throwing away two, three, four batteries. I'm replacing the one that needs it because I have the battery tester. That Howard is a smart he guy. He is such a smart guy. He's a smart guy. We do like your hubby, Howard. We definitely he's, do. He's definitely he's a good my, egg. He's my knight in shining armor. He totally is. He's he my is. knight in shining armor, too, because you know he, he makes is. sure I know. that my tires are fine. Too. He totally does. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so this is... It is a battery organizer and storage case. So I know that you have that drawer of batteries that are rolling around, clanking around, and you've got, you know, three triple A's and one double A and one errant D and a C that's looking for its mate and a nine volt that's hanging out by itself. You have no idea if those work. Not a clue. I know that I have not a clue. Here's what happens to me. I buy a couple of things of batteries and it'll, they'll come in a four pack yeah. and I'll have one extra. And so I'll drop it in the drawer and then I buy like another pack and, and I'm trying to replace something and I realize, what happened? Is that the old one or is that the new one? Like they get mixed yeah, up. Yeah, they do. And you don't mark and them. And I don't mark them. Yeah. So I'm trying to lick them. And How I about just putting feel batteries <laughs> in the freezer. Have you heard that? I think my grandmother no, used to that? do that. I think so. Oh my gosh. You don't have to do that stuff anymore though. You don't. And the, the inventory you can take. Like for example on this one. I want to take it. You can look yeah. at this and you can okay. clearly see. I want to try a battery. Up, yeah, try, 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 try it. Tester. There you go. So you look at this and you're like, okay, well, I need D's and right. I need C's and I need a few more uh, double A's and I need some triple A's. And so what's great Oops. is, so here's a little trick to that. So yep. just squeeze this as you're going. Yep. yep. And make sure con you got contact. Yes. Nice. Hold it like that. And then are we on, oh, that one looks like it might be dead. It looks, it looks, does it look dead nope, to you? Nope, we're good. No, there we go. It's so what one. am I making contact so, with? So the metal? metal and the metal. Yep, just okay. like in a battery. So you yep. can tell that one's good. Yep. So that's what's oh, that's nice cool. too, because batteries are not cheap. Cheap. They're no. expensive. They're expensive. And if you don't have to throw them all out because only one's bad in the remote or only one's bad in the flashlight, there you go. Yeah. It's good. I'm getting better. And it's okay. easy. And, it, and there's really no knack to it other than just put it, nope. make sure the metal's making yeah. contact. Simple and easy. It's so efficient. It's and kind it of a little bit of genius. silly, but it is such a great it's way genius. to be organized. Yeah. And it's so simple. My eight year old, Howard said, you have to tell the story about Annabelle. So okay. my eight year old realizes that the remote control isn't working. So instead of coming to mom and dad and saying, I need AA batteries, she goes to our closet in our office. She looks here. She's like, mommy, I need this size battery. And she and pulls she out what she it. needs and she puts batteries by herself in the remote. It I is simple. Awesome. It is easy. It's efficient. It's a great way to just have them in a central location. It's, it's like having your own battery store. My mom was telling me today, she read an article that the average house has 110 batteries. Like well, in so that drawer. There you go. <laughs> right. But you don't really realize it, or maybe you have way too many of one type you hardly ever use. This is the best way to organize it. And then having the tester yeah. to be able to make sure they're working is fantastic. The tester to me is worth the price of admission. It's under $17. Like, like literally, you could I, probably I could pay just that get for the tester. tester. Exactly. exactly. Let's get a tester. Let's open up the drawers. Let's see what batteries we have. Let's see whether yeah. or not they're working. And it, again, let's start thinking about what we, what do you have in your home that has batteries? Your flashlights, your all the remote controls. All your that? luminaire candles. Your luminaire candles for sure. All of the um, Valerie Parr Hill candles that yes. she has. Um, the, the mercury for your glass. Computer. The, the mouse for the computer the remote for, for sure. The for all your luminaires. Oh man, the yeah. battery, yeah exactly. Yeah. The battery operated um, buzzers if you happen to play Taboo. You yes. need a battery for Taboo. Everything ta needs Taboo's batteries. like one of my favorite games. I love that. We should I play love, that one we night. We totally I love that should. game. It will, you know, we should totally play it. Um, four easy payments of $4.24. I, this is a great gift on its own. Another one is, I mean, if you're able, like set somebody up as they, if they get, they have their new apartment. Yeah, it would be lovely. Words. But if you yeah. were giving your son or daughter new apartment, hook them up with a whole set of batteries. Hook them up. That's and not going to be inexpensive, but you know what? You could also separately just do a starter. Get them a row yeah. of the double A's. Absolutely. Get, get them started. a row of the triple A's. Mm -hmm. Get them a row of the D's, a row of the C's. And you know what it's going to do? When they see they're empty, if they're anything like us, they're going to be like, I need batteries. I can't stand the empty space. <laughs> so then they're always going to be prepared, and no one's ever going to be without the batteries they need for what. Don't forget your smoke detectors, those nine oh. volts. You need those yes. for your smoke detectors. Thank always you. keep four in here for your smoke detectors. I agree with you, my friend. Thank you. My pleasure. Um, and you are going to be back.
because she's bringing Rowenta, which you know, everybody knows and she knows that I love to iron. And um, I love to iron. And uh, she's got a, Ro a Rowenta for me, which is really awesome. So I was spending all day today shoveling, frankly.